right, I'm back. Another video. Something I forgot I even ordered. It finally came in the mail today. I ordered this like three months ago. It's WrestleMania week. Roman Reigns, unfortunately, he's going down to Cody. Night two. Can't wait. But here it is. Let's reveal it. I didn't even look at it yet. You're going to see what I see. And I already see it in there. And yeah, it's a little weird like I thought. Remake. Indiana Jones Retro Collection. From Hasbro. Saying that to Kenner. Got it in the mail. You watched this channel before. I geek out over this figure. It's probably one of my top five favorite figures of my entire childhood and today. My childhood just happened to be going for a little over 40 years. But I got the new one from Amazon. And quick look at it. It's not exactly the same as the original, which I have. Not one, not two, uh, not three, but this is my original childhood one, four, four of these guys already, and I didn't watch anybody else's videos, any reviews, because I'm late to the party anyway of this probably. Um, I only saw the pictures of this, I'm like, I gotta have it, even though I got them all anyway. The face is a little weird. That ain't the original face. It's a little strange. They didn't take the mold or something. They probably scanned it with a computer. Couldn't get something right. Tweaked it a bit. But that face on there looks to me like it's a small head Han. I gotta take a quick peek at this. Yes or no? I can't really tell. Sort of, maybe, kind of. I mean, he's got ears on him now. The package looks sweet. I remember when I got my original one. This was probably like two, three years after the figure line even came out. So Temple of Doom was out in the theaters. And my sister worked at the mall and... Every night, my parents picked her up from work. Uh, they made her swing by KB to see if one of these were there because they had them like in a big bin in front of the store, big clearance bin. KB was like nothing but like clearance toys, and I finally picked one up. Pretty hard to find. There's nothing but totes and German mechanics everywhere. Finding Indiana Jones back in the day hard as hell. Though I seem to get every figure I was trying for back in the day. I always got them. I landed this. Snake Eyes landed him, too. He was hard to find. Black Suit Spider-Man. I remember that one was a hard fun one to find from Secret Wars. But let's take a peek. I'm kind of... I almost don't even want to open the package, but I want to be that dude who leaves everything in the package. This package is pretty sweet. I mean, I got these out of the package, out of the package, out of the package. But do I want to open... I like looking at it. I keep all the cards, at least. Paint on his hands looks a little thick. And yeah. I know the picture on the back, all these are remake figures because Belloc was not on the original card. I think it was a regular Belloc. I need this Belloc. It's like that and the Monkey Man uh, were the only two figures from this collection I did not have. Oh, Marion too. I didn't have her. So now I'll be able to probably complete that collection if they do make Monkey Man also. I'll find these. I'll find them out in the wild somewhere. All right, I'm still debating. A couple more minutes went by. I'm still debating to open the package. I can't bring myself to do it. I don't know. It looks so beautiful. But I also bought Retro Jedi Luke, and that ain't the, the original head. That head looks different, too. But I'm, I'm definitely opening this. I'm saving this for, you know, as a treat. 
a treat, a special day. I like to open stuff as a treat for myself. Next day off, I'm going to go sit in the, down by the lighthouse down the road, have some lunch, open this stuff up, have a good little afternoon. Ah, let's open them. Can't ha I can't I can't take it. All right, side mission. I was also working on a custom based on this figure, and this kind of broke my heart already. Uh, premiered him in a video earlier. I'm not done with him. This is Indiana Jones, Kenner style, Temple of Doom. He's not done. He needs some. You need some crisper details on there, but it's not bad. I look on the internet. They are already making it for this. This collection. Him and Short Round, they finally made that. And this pulled the artistic rug out from underneath me. Because this is, this, I was working on this to be my masterpiece. I was taking extra long. I don't care if it took a year, year and a half to finish this thing. I mean, I spent like a week alone just profile of his hat and I don't even still don't think I got it right I drew on his little eyebrows and stuff I can't quite get the Harrison Ford likeness to it I don't know if I want to finish I do want to finish but here's map room Indy and then you can take his head and stick it on there I've seen a lot of people do that custom all over the internet I'm not ruining he cost me like 35 bucks, and this right now is going for like probably 35 bucks. A little bit more. This one's got his, his, uh, his thumb. I'm not ruining two figures in order to do that. That's why I sculpted my own. And now I don't even have to do that, but I will finish him. I will finish him. We'll get back to him in a later video. We're hoping for like a B plus out of this. This one's, I'm kind of, I got to go back to the batting cage on sculpting a little bit with this one. We'll get there, though. I'm taking my time. All right, let's open them up. Forget it. I got to do it. I got to do it. I got to do it. No turning back now. I already ripped it. I want to do it nice and clean. Nice and clean. I save, I'm saving the pack. I'm going to save the bubble and everything. Ooh. Here we go. Doesn't feel like the original. It's not as glossy in some parts. That's too dark. That's base. That's black. Almost. Uh, I remember getting this. I don't remember the the day I got my original one. He was not as vibrant looking as this. He's got his little spring action that works. And the paint on there is not as glossy. Ah, oh, it's so cool opening up another one. All right, every time I buy a figure, I buy maybe like one a week of something. I get it in the mail. It sits next to my computer. Eventually, after I get another figure or two or three, then my desk starts to get cluttered. It ends up in the drawer or on my action figure shelf, which is a total clutter mess. But he's going to be hanging out for the rest of the week on my computer. And then I'm on to other toys. Just like when I was a little kid. You play with something for a week or two. And then you're on to the next figure or something afterwards. We got that. Oh, let's check out his little whip. And his gun, which I know I lost the original gun like a half hour after I got it. The whip survived a while. I don't know what happened to that. Oh, this one's all bent up and stuff. Can I eh. At least it fits in his hand. Will it fit the holster? Yeah, it fits in his holster. No, it doesn't. I mean, it would have been better to put the whip in there, and then he goes, psh, psh, because he put his little gun in there. No. I used Lone Ranger's gun when I lost that. All right, that's going back in the package. 
There you go. His weird squatty legs, which I duplicated on my figure. How's that for some custom toy engineering? Hat brim up front, a little short. Like, toys had a longer shelf life back then, and if I was getting my indie stuff when Temple of Doom was coming out, that was like 84, uh, that was like, what, two years, three years later after the figures came out, I think they came out in 82, so I probably got them like two and a half years after the movie did, or when the figures did, but there was, there was no map room indie stuff anywhere out on the shelves, you're just getting like the carded figures. But I did get the, the truck. I got the, the German truck. I remember that was on clearance at like a Toys R Us. These two. This one survived childhood, which he almost didn't. Um, I lost him for probably months and months and months. I didn't know where he went. And then found him in my jean jacket pocket. Could have been another disaster. Losing, like, one of my... Like I said, my top five fi figures of my childhood, but oh, I got it. He survived. My original German indie, he did not survive. Lost him. Found him. Lost him again forever. Um, I got this one in New York City. There was a toy store called Love Saves the Day. It was like the only vintage toy store that I even seen back then. It was like the, the mid-90s. I picked him up. I think I paid like 45 bucks for this thing. But I did make my money back because I still had his original uh, bazooka. Sold the bazooka on eBay like long, long time later. And I made at least 20 bucks back on that. So $25. 50 bucks were 45, 50 bucks at the end is a ripoff for this figure even now, I think. I don't even know. Probably only $30. But I got it in New York City. All right. Is my mind blown? Not really. Not as much as when. I find one of these out in the wild and I snag one for like 15, 20 bucks. Always a bargain. I ain't finding them for that price no more. Those, they're going up. But for what I spent, like 11, 12 bucks on this from Amazon with my Amazon points for my credit card. Uh, got, so I got them for free. Hell yeah, this was cool. I'm full of like nostalgic fun right now. I love it. Now I got like a little card to put up a shelf too, so I'm happy and I'm definitely pre-ordering the, the other one that, you know, they ruined my artistic vision, but whatever. I'm glad I will have a real one. So like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Thank you.